So the Scottish Champion Hurdle is next. And unlike most Champion Hurdles, the Scottish one is a handicap. It's a Grade 2 handicap. And it's over two miles. Let's take a look at the field. Another pearl to top weight for David Hurley. Bien Glenboy for David Robertson. Duke of Finsbury. And Far Inferno for Paul Rhodes, Ozark Setting, Vinnie Gerard, Banana Boat, Graham Clutterbuck, Spectacular, Joshua Sutherland, Limelight, Craig Beckwith, and Brilliant Melody, Alex Cherry. So nine of them in this then. And calling and ready to go. And away they go then. And who's going to be the first one to show? It looks like Paul Rhodes' pair are interested in the lead, but so too is Alex Cherry's Brilliant Melody. Bottom weight, there was a winner last week, and they get to the first, and over it they go, and Brilliant Melody is the leader. Ozark set in second, and right over on the inside is another Pearl, as they get to the second of the nine, which they're all safely over, and with the exception of this leader, Brilliant Melody, they're all pretty tightly packed at this point. So Brilliant Melody then is the leader from Bien Glenboy in second, and Banana Boat third, as they get over to third. And they're all safely over that one as well, they're not hanging about, and Banana Boat is in Second place, the first of the two greys, with the second of the greys, Duke of Finsbury, for Paul Rhodes. But it's brilliant melody that's going to lead them past the winning post with a circuit to go then. And hopefully for Alex Cherry's sake, we'll cut across to the fence and does so. And leads by three or four then to Bien Glenboy in the turquoise and maroon hoops in second. The grey on the rail is Banana Boat in third. Black and white, black and white, black and red stripes, hoops even, of Joshua Sutherland are spectacular closest to us. The grey behind him is Duke of Finsbury. Next to that one is Craig Beckwith's line like the purple jacketed. Another pearl is just in the front of that one with Paul Rhodes's other runner, Far Inferno on the rail. And then the back marker is Ozark setting in the two shades of green for Vinnie Gerrard. So over flight four they go, and they're all safely over that one with Brilliant Melody well clear of another pearl second, Bien Glenboy third. And then Spectacular with Limelight, Banana Boat and Duke of Finsbury almost in a line. And then Fire Inferno. And finally Ozark setting. He might just be finding the pace a little bit tough at this point. About three lengths adrift from the main pack. But the leader is bowling along nicely in front. Racing downhill. Skips over flight number six. Lead is though cut to two lengths by a good jump by another pearl. Spectacular is also going well round the outside. The field are beginning to close on this leader now with three more flights to take and Brilliant Melody is in the lead from another pearl and spectacular and then Limelight Bien Glenboy they're really beginning to bunch now this lead in six or seven with just Banana Boat and Ozark setting and detached and racing into the final five furlongs and towards the final three flights you can see the third flight in the distance and the second last as well and it's brilliant Melody who's still in the lead. Kicks on again by about a length now. Then so Glen, Bien Glenboy is second. Far Inferno is third. Then Limelight Duke of Finsbury. Spectacular trying to get going. Another Pearl's just hit a bit of a flat spot. Banana Boat nose arc setting and now coming into it round the outside. It's wide open this one as they come down and a third from home. Over it they go. Brilliant Melody landed in the lead. Bien Glenboy a better jump. And on this near side, Spectacular looks to be going best of all at the moment. But Ozark setting is running on over the second last they go. Brilliant Melody from Bien Glenboy. Far Inferno trying to get up the inside. And then Duke of Finsbury on the outside. Spectacular is run by the Peter Nett. So to Ozark setting. And they're racing down to the final flight. Over it they go. And a crashing fall for Ozark setting. Duke of Finsbury is the front. Duke of Finsbury's just poked his head in front. Bien Glenboy is fighting back. So is Brilliant Melody. Here comes Spectacular. It's got to be close. Bien Glenboy's in the lead. They race up towards the line. Bien Glenboy from Spectacular. Bien and Glenboy's just taken it. Far Inferno was close as well. And what a thrilling finish to the Scottish champion hurdle as Bien Glenboy just pokes his head in front on the line from Far Inferno. Spectacular. And the long time leader. There's no more than a length between the first five of them. And Ozark setting crashing out at the last. And Bien Glenboy. Is the winner for David Robertson. Fire Inferno for Paul Rhodes was second. Spectacular Joshua Sutherland third. Brilliant Melody for Alex Cherry fourth. And another Pearl for David Hurley was fifth. So the Scottish champion hurdle stays in Scotland with David Robertson.